Welcome back, everyone. A new partnership between car racing and the autism community is hoping to bring attention to this disorder today. Yeah, 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Woodruff to tell us more about it. Hey, Christine. Good morning, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, so Project Hope Foundation Woodruff campus. Glad to be here and to have Colby Howard here as well. Colby, excited to learn of your uh, many accolades but among those 2017 NASCAR South Carolina Rookie of the Year. Very cool. That means you race what? Uh, when I won the 2017 award, mm -hmm. I was actually running late model stock cars mm -hmm. all over South Carolina. Wow. Okay, this is just one of the cars, though, right? Yes, man. This is just one. Mm -hmm. Well, at one time we had up to we had three complete cars yeah. and one kind of just sitting in the corner, not complete yet. Tinkering with it. I hear you. Very good. Um, as you race, you have Project Hope right there on the mm -hmm. front of your car. Does that mean something to you to be able to represent them as you race? Yeah, it really means a lot. I mean, like I said, this is the only school in South Carolina that does what they do. They're really, really hands-on with their kids and do the best they can to help them. We can learn more about that with Lisa here. Lisa Lane, she's the co-executive director and co-founder of this wonderful organization, Autism Awareness Inclusion. You do so very much here. Um, it, it's so important to let others know about it too, though, because of that support that you need. Tell us about that. Right. Well, for our services, there's a funding gap always and what we are uh, able to get from reimbursement and what it costs us to provide these services even as a nonprofit. So we rely heavily on donations and support from the community to help us provide the services that this community needs. These services are just crucial for families that maybe need to go back to work but they have a child or even an adult with autism. Um, you do things here in classrooms that I've never seen. Just name a couple of them if you don't mind. Sure. Our lifespan of services means we have intensive therapy for little ones, we have classes of all kinds, and we have adult services where people can learn life skills to become more independent and to find work. They have a gala coming up on the 27th of April. They want you to go to that. Best way to get tickets? ProjectHopeSC.org. You can get tickets there. We've still got room, and we'd love to have people there with us. Very good. And part of the live auction that's going to be taking place is this awesome hood of the car here. It's going to be signed by those students and those clients that go right here every day. That's going to be a really neat piece. I know we're all excited to see that. And, of course, WSBA.com, a great way to get some more information as well as purchase those tickets and learn more about Colby here. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right. Colby, we're rooting for him. Yeah, good partnership there. Thanks, Christine. Yeah, we're rooting for him. All right, we've got beautiful, beautiful weather.